So here we are in San Francisco, day one of our social networking trip. And luckily, right Mike turn. is doing the book oh. right, I think. Battery Street in one. So we're heading over the Bay Bridge uh, to Berkeley uh, to meet a guy who may have created the first ever social network called Community Memory. So this is uh, a historic location. It's where Leopold's records stood in 1973 and where the first uh, real social network began. Just a terminal put there by some people who were part of the whole Berkeley counterculture. And we're going to meet one of them, the, the real founding spirit of community memory as it was called, Lee Felsenstein. Lee Felsenstein, how has social networking changed your life? Well, I met my wife on a social network, and we, in fact, corresponded without seeing each other for a month, which made all the difference. Also, it gave me my career in personal computers. I realized we needed personal computers because we needed better technology than was available in the 1970s. Heading back into San Francisco to meet the man with the best name in technology, Dr. Larry Brilliant. Larry Brilliant. Larry, just remind me... Remind me what, why I've come here to see you. Uh, you came here to talk about pandemics, obviously, or smallpox. That could be the only reason. It wouldn't have been about the well, because you're too young to know anything about the well. I've read the book. I've okay. read the book about the well. I, I know about the well. But you didn't see the movie. No, I missed the movie. No, there isn't a movie. <laughs> <laughs> there should have been a movie. The well was the, uh, the network that began in the 1980s. That We wouldn't have Facebook or Twitter but for the well, right? Uh, you know, I think the people at Facebook might have something to say about that, but you'd have to ask them. <laughs> so it's day two, and we're heading over the Golden Gate Bridge on a very rainy day to meet... Um, who are we meeting? Stuart Brand. Stuart Brand, that's right. Stuart Brand, uh, the visionary, uh, founder of the Whole Earth Catalogue, and then the well. <laughs> Foggy day in San Francisco. The catalog was here for from 1975 on. And then the well a decade later. Yeah, exactly. Um, connect them pretty easily. We are standing where the Vax. Uh, one of the original major mini computers lived and throbbed and held the, uh, the wells, uh, functioning digits in place. So that was your main property. Uh, that was that was the sort of that was the technology. That was the big expenditure. Yeah, the physicality of the well was just the backs, uh, a mini computer that could handle a lot of lines at once, and uh, people would come and kind of worship it, but. They really knew that where the well was was in the minds of the customers. So it's day three, and we're heading along Route 101 to Silicon Valley. Uh, where are we heading, Mike? We're heading to Facebook. We're heading to Facebook on the day that Mark Zuckerberg is named Time Magazine Person of the Year. Sadly, though, I don't think we're going to get to see him. So here we are in the Facebook headquarters. It's the Facebook wall, the biggest Facebook wall you can imagine. I can't really find anywhere to put anything, but I have managed to scroll up here. Rory CJ was here for Radio 4 Secret History of Social Networking. My writing on this historic wall. So here's something really sad. Mark Zuckerberg just came through that very door. I was in the car recording a radio piece. Uh, and Mike there missed the shot. So we're heading back into San Francisco after uh, our appointment at Facebook. Uh, Mike, the producer, how's it going? Well, it's going really well. We uh, are getting lots of good stuff from many different eras of social networking. And uh, I haven't uh, yet crashed the car. Yeah, that was a close one. You just concentrate on the, on the driving. I'll do the thinking and talking from now 